welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you already know I'm doing the commitment ceremony and guys, you know these commitment ceremonies, it goes real down for real. But guys, before I get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You already know, road to 15K. Okay guys, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. April is still sick. Honestly guys, I actually still don't believe this girl's sick. Mm. I don't. And honestly, if I'm honest, I either believe Thomas or they're both fake. I don't believe April. There's something about April that is super, super disingenuous to me. I'm not vibing with it. I can't really quite put my finger on it. But I don't I don't trust her. So if anything, they were both talking bad about Shinita and April just basically snitched first. Or it was April fully and she got in front of it. For me, that's just what I believe. Let me know. I don't know. There's, stuff, there's just something very Karen about her. Honestly, guys, I'm so sorry. There's something very Karen about her. How can she say, if he doesn't admit it, I don't think we can be friends? Do you think he cares? He feels like you've lied on him. Do you think he cares? Like, why do you feel like you're like he's gonna care? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Like, I'm really, really confused. April, she has this like, about her and I'm like, baby, you're not that girl. Alrighty, so moving on. Adrian is tired of Thomas, even if to some degree I'm tired of Thomas too, but he brings drama, so at the same time I'm actually not. But if I was his like his wife, I would be knackered. I would be exhausted. Honestly, I would be so so exhausted. Cause they're arguing about arguing. I just feel like they are okay for like two seconds and then the other two seconds are it's just consistently back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Anytime they make any progress, they always, always mess it up. And I don't think they it's really Thomas that messes it up. So I just couldn't do this roller coaster. I don't have the like the temperament for this type of relationship. But Adrian is better than me because I ain't got the strength and I don't want the strength. Sorry, I don't want the strength. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Because for me, this relationship right here should be we are in the bin. For me, the relationship's in the bin. There's no two, two ways about it. It's in the bin. So moving on, Shanita and Jordan. Now, the perfect couple, they're starting to be cracks now. And the cracks are not no small, small ones. They're big cracks that something's going to come flooding out of it. Real talk. Because the way Shanita's moving, mm, guys yeah i'm not feeling it i am sincerely not feeling it and i'm 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 sad for them but i'm sad for him specifically because the position that she's putting him in and the things that she's saying to him is completely unacceptable and i know she doesn't mean like she doesn't mean any malice by it but what else are you expecting to happen after you say the things you say whether you mean malice or not actually sometimes is irrelevant because what what, like what, how would you feel if someone said the same thing to you? How would you feel? So, that's just that. I think Jordan might have taken it too far by saying she wasn't a nice person. But at the same time, I guess he's going off of how he's felt, how she's been treating him. And that's the conclusion that he came to, which is mm, fair enough. But he feels attacked. He feels attacked. And, I, and I'm not going to take that from him. No, like, no chance, no way, no how. So... We'll get into them a bit more later on at the actual like ceremony. The veganism thing comes up again, guys. At this point, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, I must. I feel like if this continues on further on, I'm just gonna have to skip it because I'm actually sick and tired of speaking about veganism. Now, let me say, I did not know wine was made through filtered fish or something, or fish guts or something like that. I did not know that. But again, I don't. I feel like Zoe needs to be more strong in her carnivalism that's not what is that a word is that a word i don't know but she needs to be more headstrong about her love for me i'm sorry guys peter or whoever you know what i mean the organizations them please don't come by my house but when i when i tell you i could watch any type of video hear any type of information and it's really not gonna affect me it's really, really not. Even if, I think it would be the same thing in vice versa. If Jenna heard all the great things that me does for you and da 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 she's still not gonna change. So I think she needs, I think Zoe needs to be that headstrong as well and be like, okay, you could tell me this, you could tell me that. I still don't care. Respectfully, respectfully all due respect. Still don't care. So I think they both just need to be headstrong in who they are and not trying to convince the other 
to be who they want them to be. When they get to that point, this issue will stop. But until they get to that point, it's gonna keep on going and going and going. Like, do you think I care about chickens having a period? Like, or, like, I, I, I don't understand what that's supposed to do for me. I, I don't, me, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the relevance was. Um, maybe she was talking about eggs. Like sometimes you could get a little red bean. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. By the end of the day, you just take it out. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just take it out. But I just think this is silly. Honestly, I'm actually sick of I've actually got a headache from this. This is like the thing that has given me the headache the most. Not, it's not even Thomas's voice. It's this vegan conversation. I'm tired. Like honestly, my friend has never, of course, I'm not sleeping with her, but my friend has never tried to convert me to veganism. I'll eat whatever I want to eat in front of her of course if i'm in her house most of the time she cooks so i'm gonna eat what she cooks but other than that when we go out we all eat how we want to eat and no one's saying oh this or that or that. No, like we just get on with it because our relationship is not based on what we eat like we just get on with it anyways i feel like i've talked about it for too long so let me move on so then we see kwame and keisha and keisha made kwame sleep somewhere else he slept he was in the doghouse yesterday and I feel like it was, oh, it's not I feel like, it was because of what happened at the d dinner party yesterday. So he's confused by it and he's like, why is this happening? And I just feel like he talks a lot and he says nothing. Like when he was talking, I wasn't really registering what he was saying because I'm like, what are you even saying? You embarrassed my girl yesterday and the fact that you can't see that or you're failing to see it, whether you're intentionally or unintentionally not trying to understand her, it's frustrating. You don't think, you think she just put you out for no reason. Like, you, like, but honestly guys, this is another relation. At this point, put all these couples in the bin, guys, honestly, and just lock off the show, yeah? Lock off the show because all these couples need to be in the bin. I just, I just, it's just not, it's just not giveaway it's supposed to have gave. Honestly, it's not. So before the actual commitment ceremony, the couples are speaking with one of another. Jordan says he feels like crap after all the stuff Shanita has said to him. PJ is so desperate to connect with Jess. And it's, it, I'm getting, like, I don't feel so for him anymore. It's, for me, it's, it's looking a bit embarrassing, me personally. Thomas is very much over April and April f is going on like Thomas needs to do he needs to apologize he needs to own up to it it's a shame that because Thomas has such a big mouth by default April looks like she's telling the truth by default because what is so honest about what April said April just happened to be the one that said it first what is that about April that makes it that makes her honest and makes Thomas dishonest what is it? What is it? It's just because he's got a big mouth and he's in drama a lot. I think that's what most more so it is. But I, for me personally, I feel like either April is a part of it or it's solely her. That's really my genuine opinion. Keisha, um, again, she still seems triggered by the whole comment about the reason why we're not intimate is because of me. He, again, he did not lie because you said, let's get naked. So he did not lie. However, I want Kwame to be as honest as Jess is. If you don't find my girl attractive, just tell her. Instead of we, us going around this block several times over, us misconstru misconstruing each other, it's just getting long. Just say it as it is and let's move on. So guys, let's actually move to the commitment ceremony. It starts off with April and George and they still talk about the dinner party and how George stood up for his wife and blah, 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 blah. Like, I really care. And then... Adrian tried to touch Thomas and Thomas was just not having it. He was dismissive. He was in a mood. Fine. When is he not in a mood? Anyways, um, then the experts tried to ask April about the drama and she was like, I just want to focus on my relationship. Guys, it was actually giving Miss GB. It was giving, you know what I mean? Like it was giving world peace. What do you want? World peace. That's, it was giving world peace. Yeah. You didn't mind going out of your way to go and tell Shanita that Thomas was speaking about her, allegedly. Now when it's time for you to talk about it, now you don't want to talk. You can't throw stones and hide your hands. So if I was Thomas, I would have acted a fool. And that's the thing is, some, to some degree, I don't blame Thomas with the way he behaves sometimes. I don't, because April's not going to act like a goody goody two shoe now. Oh, I'm above it. You didn't have to tell Shanita that. You didn't have to. 
but you decided to and now you don't want to stand 10 toes on it i'm sorry you can't actually be above it now you can't and for me i don't like it i just feel like she's moving fake sorry that's what i think um again not that thomas doesn't have his flaws but i feel like april's being fake so that's just it anyway they both agreed to stay so we're gonna move on then we get to pj and jess and i feel like the way pj speaks about jess he's romanticizing the idea of her because he's not talking about her no shade to jess respectfully no shade to jess but i think he is romanticizing the idea of her rather than looking at her for who she is he was like oh i love that girl we get on so much da, 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 da. i'm thinking i don't see it because she's not giving you any indication that she wants to be with you but you're still taking a mile from an inch i don't know how he's multiplying this little inch and extending it because if i'm honest jess ain't done anything wrong to me in this episode she kept it honest she kept it real i don't know how many times she's gonna say i see you as a friend um she says she has zero attraction to him she says she wants basically a geezer and i disagree with the experts by saying that oh basically your interests don't matter it's about your values no your interests do matter your interests do matter because my interests are the things that i that they, those are the things that i'm gonna especially if we're gonna initially bond with each other those we're gonna talk about our interests first then we will get into our values as well of course but especially the surface level things or the things we like to do on a day-to-day -day basis are our interests and that's basically why home girl and other home girl are, are beefing because they don't share the same interests. it's really important that's why um april is saying oh she wants george to be more of a man she needs to want um jordan to be like this like again it's about interest it's actually about interest so i think interest is important of course values are also important but i feel like let's just not dismiss interest but i don't know why he's forcing it even when she was basically like i want to leave he was like i want to ask you one question is there anything worth fighting for i just wanted to throw up into his lap because how many type of how many which ways do you have to hear her say i'm just not that into you it's not even that into you i'm not into you full stop point blank period I don't know why you're hard of hearing, PJ, but you've embarrassed yourself. So thankfully, when she said that, even though he picked stay, I don't know how he picked stay, he wants trouble. Thankfully, they were like, you know what, we're just gonna leave. Good, because there's actually nothing there. There's nothing keeping them together. Nothing's gonna grow. For me, it was really the stripper and living at home with his Marge. That was what killed it because she seemed into it initially. So hopefully he'll quit his job find something else to do and then i'm sure he'll find love so good but anyways it's time to go home so we're gonna move on to shanita and jordan and honestly shanita has been rude it's not even just communication it's being rude i think communication style and being rude are two different things and i think she's actually being rude yes she doesn't intend to be but that doesn't matter for her to say to him um, i think they're both 29 years old for her to say to a 29 year old i think you have adhd you should probably go get tested at 29 I, i'm again now i'm not no doctor i ain't no doctor but i would like to think if i had adhd by 29 i would know no like i would have been someone would have told me somehow someone i would have been diagnosed somehow no no am i off i don't know but by her saying that she's basically gone on like she's a doctor and basically saying there's something wrong with you kind of sort of i know that's not her intention to come across rude but that's kind of what she's saying and i'm sorry i would not be happy with someone saying that to me i'm sorry i'm not i, I would not be pleased with that and i think it seems that she's consistently criticizing him i'm still on the whole reading comment thing like i didn't like that concentrate comment it was giving mum like what no uh she did take accountability but at the same time taking accountability sometimes isn't enough how about we just don't say it i don't know why you thought that type of commentary would be appropriate because it most definitely is not um and i feel like don't get too comfortable if that's not you guys's banter because i feel like some people can have really inappropriate banter or whatever whatever like i quite like the whole like being rude type thing that's I, I i've got thick skin but i've got thick skin and i'll give it back to you as well so but unless you're trying to come for me which it seemed like she was trying to do it seemed like she was trying to come for him 
and it wasn't even like banter it was like truth behind what she, or she felt like there was truth behind what she was saying and honestly i felt really bad for jordan because he seemed really hurt by the whole situation and rightly so i would be hurt if someone tried to play mm, would i be hurt let me think let me think would i be hurt I don't know, I'm not going, for me, I'll turn up. I'll still be hurt, but I'll, be, I'll turn up as well. So, yeah, I didn't like that for him. Um, they both still decided to stay, which I'm happy about. But I think she's, they need to work, like, she needs to work on the way she speaks to him. And then maybe they can get back to where they were. But she needs to start respecting him because I think it's a lack of respect, which is why she's speaking like that. Um, then Kwame felt like he had to come and say something. And he was like, yeah, no more with the diagnosing. Which is fair enough, but at the same time, after she was crying, 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 knew she done wrong, the expert said she did wrong, Jordan said she did wrong, I think she had heard it enough. So when he said that, I think it was just an additional thing because she already felt like crap anyways, water was leaking her eyes. So I think it was unnecessary and I don't think he should have said something, but it was clear that when Jordan didn't say anything, because Jordan could have spoke up, yes he left the room with her, but to some degree, he knows that Kwame's right. So that's why he didn't say anything. That's why I think, in my personal opinion. Was it necessary? No. But at the same time, like Kwame said, you wanted to bash him. So basically, if I bash you, it should be even Stevens. The logic makes sense. He can still mind his business, but the logic makes sense. So moving on, I, mo I accidentally skipped to Whitney and Duca. They're so different right now. They're getting on. I like to see it. Their experts asked about their intimacy or like whether they find each other attractive. And they both basically was like, looks is one thing, but basically I need the trust, I need personality, I need whatever, whatever. I don't, it's for me, it's either one of two things. They're either too scared to admit that they like each other for fear of getting hurt or they just don't find each other attractive. I don't, the answer could be different for either of them. I don't know, but I think those are the two things that i'm smelling in the air but they're getting on and they both decided to stay so we continue so then now it's kwame and keisha's turn and like we all said he's talking about i i i he sounds very selfish i don't think he's a very good speaker if i'm honest i don't think he's aware of the things he be saying and it's interesting how he's crying about having to sleep elsewhere but isn't understanding how she felt or how he made her feel, whether it was intentional or unintentional. And I think he needs to realize he's definitely not the victim here. Like she was reacting based on what you've done. So if you trace it back, you need to find out what you did, which made her say, I don't want, I don't want to sleep in the same bed with you tonight. So I think Kwame needs to have some more introspection because like, it's not like Keisha is not saying, what she feels she's saying it i just don't think it's penetrating his skull and for all of you guys that was like oh whitney whitney, whitney and kwame whitney and kwame you see how she was like he's a d-head i don't i didn't i'm sorry whitney's not that kind of babe i knew whitney was not that kind of babe and it confirmed it when she called him that she ain't gonna change whitney don't want those problems she can see danger 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 and she will not walk into that that would just be a that would be a dumb b move a really dumb b move um they both decided to stay um I, I, I just want Keisha to see, to see the light yes you guys get on well but maybe it's more of a friendship thing because oh and maybe it's friendship on his side and not on yours I don't know but I feel like this is obvious well this is obvious to me or obvious to us because I know I'm speaking for y'all too then we see Lara and Richie and their communication skills are off they don't communicate in the same way at all she said that he's emotionally needy. I can understand what she's talking about. Again, might be lack of I mean, lack of um, experience. It might be his inexperience. But at the same time, some people are just needy. Some people are just needy. And I don't. I think Laura wants to live soft life. I don't think she wants all that. And she don't have. I don't think she's just tired. I think she's she's tired. She's been, she's probably been around the block a couple of times. Maybe he's just tired, and I don't blame her. Thankfully, they both picked leave. So they are also leaving. Let's not long this out. Fair enough. Then we see Jenna and Zoe. And again, but they, they're actually the same. They both don't compromise. They're both saying the other one doesn't compromise. Well, they do both compromise, but they're both saying the other one isn't. So they're not recognizing each other's compromising. They're both judging each other. They both, they both can't speak. They both don't listen. So they actually both have the same issue, which is why they consistently go around in circles. 
they consistently go around in circles and um i do think it's unfair that if zoe asked uh, jenna why she doesn't drink wine and that's her answer that's her answer she's not gonna lie to you so i don't i think i don't for me i'm just tired of these two i think both of them need the benefit of the doubt but both of them need to fix up the pair of them this couple is really ridiculous but they decided to say so we're gonna move on finally the last couple um was thomas and adrian there was distance between them on the couch thomas is talking about how he feels disrespected and this this that and the third going on like he's the victim um and adrian's like it just seems like thomas is always ready for a fight and i agree with that completely but um, i almost like think because thomas has been on the defense probably so much in his life that's his default position now i know psychoanalyst now but that's what it's telling me he's consistently like no one's gonna tell me how i am no one's gonna talk bad about me no one's gonna make me feel less than which is why he does too much because he's always feeling like he has to defend himself prove himself and no one's gonna let him go back to where he used to be when he when he was insecure when he was sad when he didn't like himself so i think that's what he's constantly fighting which is why things blow up more than they actually need to be but thomas needs to realize that most of the time he's apologizing is because most of the time he is really in the wrong and adrian is really just trying to help him but he doesn't see it like that he sees it like he's fighting on two fronts which is why and and, and i can understand that because when someone says something about you which any person would really want to defend themselves now how is the issue but most people would want to defend themselves but when your partner is basically being like don't say anything don't say anything he's like so how am i going to defend myself people are speaking badly about me and i want to i need to clear my name so i do understand how he feels on that front and i feel like he does feel like he's not getting the support from adrian because adrian just don't want drama period he don't want no drama point blank period um and he cried and i feel like those were real tears i feel like he's yeah, I think he's been in this position before. He feels like he needs to defend himself. His character is what he's got. Like, that's his name. Like, that's his, he's defending himself. So I understand where he was coming from. And I understand those were definitely real tears. Overall, the relationship is very, very toxic. Um, even Adrian is crying because Adrian, I feel like this is going to break. I don't want this to break Adrian, but I feel like he's going through it a lot. And I feel for him. Um, Adrian picks Stay. But Thomas, because he thinks he's the victim, he picked leave because he thinks that somehow Adrian is the problem. But then he ended up saying that I'm going to stay. And yeah, that was it. That was the episode, guys. So now in the next episode, we're going to get two new couples. The people that are all tattooed up, I'm not going to lie, physically, they look like they match. He's big, tall, tats, and she's like curvaceous, tats on the face of it they look good together the other the other couple the when he's he was like she's more waitress m and and i'm more morrison's i was like lord have mercy Ugh, i don't know how they're gonna get on because i think the class thing is gonna be an issue i don't think it has to be an issue i don't think it has to be an issue i don't but they're gonna make it an issue so we're going to see. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next episode. Bye.